Hello everyone, this is TCB ASMR here. In this video, I will be discussing yesterday, June 19th, MLB games and scores. The first game we had yesterday was the Cardinals versus the Nationals. The Cardinals won this game 8-6. The top performers were Tommy Edmond. He went 2-for-2 two two with a triple, 2 walks, and an RBI. Lane Thomas went 2-for-4 with two doubles, a hit by pitch, and a stolen base. And Donovan went 1-for-4 four with a homer and three RBIs. The starter for the Nationals was Josiah Gray, who got rocked. So pretty poor performance for him. Then for the Cardinals, the starter was Jack Flaherty, who also got rocked. Uh, but Jordan Hicks did get his third save and a couple of holds here for the Cardinals. The Cardinals' bullpen played very well, or pitched very well in this game, uh, which pretty much saved them and won them the game. Next, we had the Royals versus the Tigers. Tigers won this game 6-4. to four. The top performers in this one were Bobby Witt Jr. He went 2-for-3 with the homer, walk, RBI, and a stolen base. Carpenter went 1-for-3 with the homer, 3 RBIs, and a walk. And Lyles went six innings, only gave up three earned runs, and struck out three batters. For the Royals, as I just mentioned, the starter was Lyles, who I believe is still winless. Um, but he actually pitched decent in this game. It was Clark who got the blown save and the loss. He gave up three runs in just one inning. Then for the Tigers, the starter was Olsen. He didn't pitch very well, didn't pitch awfully or horribly I should say but uh, you know he, he did all right Alexander then came in he got his second win of the season played or pitched pretty well and then uh, Lange got his 11th save of the season then we had the Blue Jays versus the Marlins where the Marlins absolutely destroyed the Blue Jays Blue Jays lost this game 11 to 0 the top performers in this one were Luis Arias, who went 5 for 5 with 2 RBIs. Hoeing, who went 4 innings scoreless with 5 strikeouts. That's a, It's got to be one of the names of all time. And then Bertie went 3 for 4 with a double and an RBI. For the Blue Jays, his starter was Jose Barrios, who got rocked. And then Pearson came in and got rocked. He only got 1 out before giving up or... He only got one out while giving up five earned runs. So not the uh, not the best start for Pearson. And then for the Marlins, as I mentioned, the starter was Hoeing. And then Brazaban got his first win of the season. Then we had the Cubs versus the Pirates. Cubs won this game 8-0. to zero. Top performers in this one were Mike Talkman. He went 3-for-5 with three RBIs. Beto went six innings, gave up three earned runs, struck out seven batters. And Drew Smiley went five innings scoreless with four strikeouts. For the Pirates, the starter was Beto, as I just mentioned. He did a decent job, but then the relievers after him did not. So, for the Cubs, the starter, as I mentioned, was Drew Smiley. He pitched very well. Fulmer got his sixth hold, and that was pretty much all she wrote. A great game for the Cubs pitching staff. Then we had the Rockies versus the Reds. Rockies lost this game of 5-4. to four. Reds continue their hot streak with their ninth straight win. Uh, this was also Joey Votto's first game of this season. He had been injured um, a good bit. Or not injured. Well, he was. Yeah, he was injured uh, for a little while. But now he's back, and he had a great first game back. He went 2-3 for three with a homer walk and 3 RBIs. Then the next top performer was Diaz, who went 2-for-5 with a homer and two RBIs. And then Jorge Alfaro went 2-for-3 with two doubles, hit by pitch, and an RBI. For the Rockies, the starter was Austin Gombert, who did not pitch well, gave up five runs, four earned, and just five and a third innings. For the Reds, the starter was Williamson, who gave up three runs in five innings. So not great, but not bad. And then Diaz got his 19th save of the season. Then we had the Red Sox versus the Twins. Red Sox won this game 9-3. to The top performers in this one were Jared Duran, or Jaron Duran, excuse me. He went 3-for-3 three three with three doubles and two RBIs. Paxton went 6 and a third, gave up three earned runs, struck out seven. And Alex Verdugo went 2-for-4 with a triple hit by pitch and four RBIs. The starter for the Twins was Pablo Lopez, who did not pitch well. 
And then for the Red Sox, the starter, as I mentioned, was Paxton, who has been very good in the month of June. Not his best start in this one, but uh, still got the job done. Next, we had the Mets versus the Astros. Mets absolutely demolished or demolished the uh, the Astros in this one. They won this one 11 to one. Still four games back from 500, but uh, this is a good win for them. Scherzer had a great start. Went eight innings, only gave up one run, struck out eight. Lindor went two for five with a homer of five RBIs and a double, which included the three run a three run home run. And then Danny Burgers, Daniel Vogelback, went two for five with a homer and three RBIs. The starter for the Astros was Hunter Brown. He did not pitch well. Gave up six runs in just about six innings. And then for the Mets, as I mentioned, the starter was Max Scherzer, who pitched very well. Then we had the Rangers beating the White Sox 5-2. to two. The top performers in this one were Josh Young, who continues to have a fantastic rookie season. He went 3-for-5 with a solo home run in two runs. Luis Robert Jr. continues to stay hot. He went 2-for-3 with a solo home run and a hit-by-pitch. And Andrew Vaughn went 2-for-5 with a solo home run. For the White Sox, the starter was Banks. He didn't pitch well, gave up three runs in just about four innings. Then for the Rangers, the starter was Andrew Heaney, uh, who went 5-2 and two thirds, only gave up two earned runs, so a decent game for him. Didn't walk any batters. Struck out six, did give up two home runs, but, you know, two runs in, six, in just about six innings is not bad. And then Will Smith got his 13th save of the season, and Sabor's his seventh hold, and Burke his eighth hold. Then we had the Brewers versus the Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks won this game 9-1. to one. The top performers in this one were Merrill Kelly, who went seven innings, only gave up one run, struck out seven batters. Alec Thomas went 2-for-4 with the homer, 2 RBIs, and 2 runs. And Perdomo went 2-for-3 with the double and 2 walks. For the Brewers, he started with Corbin Burns, who did not pitch well. When it looked like he was you know, getting kind of into his groove, then he puts out a start like this or a performance like this, and, uh, and it's just a, a setback. For the Diamondbacks, as I mentioned, Merrill Kelly was the starter. Corbin Carroll also hit a home run in this game. He continues to uh, to just blow out every expectation that people had of him. Um, yeah, good win for the Diamondbacks. And then the last game we had yesterday was the Giants versus the Padres. Giants came back to win it in this one with a walk-off home run from Mike Yastrzemski in the bottom of the 10th inning. So they tied the game. They tied the game 4-4 in the bottom of the ninth inning and then came back in the 10th inning uh, for Mike Yastrzemski to hit a three-run walk-off home run into McCovey Cove. Can't really do much better than that, so a great walk-off for the piping hot Giants who are now on an eight-game win streak. Uh, and there you go, Mike Yastrzemski, three for five, two homers and four RBIs. Juan Soto also had an incredible game, two for four, two homers, a walk and two RBIs, and win went five innings, only gave up one run, one earned run. The starter for the Giants was Walker, or more so the opener. Uh, he didn't do particularly well, gave up a run in about two innings of work. Taylor Rogers did his thing. Uh, Jake Junis didn't do his thing. He gave up two runs in basically two innings. And then Wynn came in for five innings, as I mentioned. He pitched very well. And then Camilo Duvall got his second win of the season. For the Padres, the starter was Michael Waka. Went six innings, gave up two earned runs, so not his best or not his most dominant start, but still a good start, especially against such a hot team like the Giants. Um, Kerr ended up with the loss as he gave up the walk-off home run to Mike Yastrzemski. So, as I mentioned, those were all the games we had from yesterday's MLB slate or MLB schedule. Let me know what you guys thought about the games, if you did watch them or go to any of them. As always, if you guys enjoyed watching the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It is very much appreciated, and it helps me out a lot. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.